Hey guys, Coach Miguel back again. And I'm here today with, as you've seen on the thumbnail and description, the U40 cork seal. Now, I didn't know about, I didn't know about this. And then I started searching the internet about, you know, how to preserve your, the cork on your rods. And um, this popped up and I seen people on YouTube doing it. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll order some. So I ordered some and it looked pretty easy, so I wanted to do a video for you guys, so you guys, if you guys were interested in doing it or not. Um, but I did one rod off camera, so I can see how it is, and it was my Dobbins rod. Now, what it's gonna do is, you're, it's gonna change the color slightly, probably like, it's gonna make it just a little bit darker. This wasn't um, that dark, if you guys can see. I don't know if it's gonna focus in. I don't have a, I'm not, sure if it's focused hopefully it's focused but this was um a little bit lighter than that and then you just put a seal and it, it gives it a little a little bit more grip so i'm gonna do uh probably one or two rods so you guys can see how i do it i cut i cut up some uh, some people use brushes that they bought i just cut up a, a sponge i cut this see this was the one i did yesterday i cut up a sponge and um, that's how I'm going to put it on there, my special table here with my towel. And then I seen a guy, he put blue tape over the plastic and stuff because he don't know how this was going to react to the plastic. So I did it too, especially, and I'll do this rod, this rod right here. Yes, that is an NRX Plus and a Shimano, what is it? Excellence. Ah, bit the bullet on that one. <laughs> so... Another question I was going to ask you guys is, do you guys want me to, and I put it up on my YouTube, I'm not sure if anybody voted on it, but do reviews and, and, and stuff like that on these new rod combos I got, because I also got a, 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 Ro, a Mega Bass Orochi Ronin, um, a Poison Adrena, uh, I got some some interesting uh pretty cool rods and i didn't do nothing because i kind of steered away from putting reviews out and stuff like that just for the simple fact that you know i mean you could call me salty or not but it's kind of crazy that we spend so much money on this stuff and these big companies like that they won't even take the time and some people they do but uh, they haven't with me so maybe it's just me but they don't even take the time to do a 24 hour story. You know, you take the time, like I've literally took time and did videos for, for, uh, companies. And I mean, those things take a minute, you know, to edit and everything like that. They won't even like the picture. They won't even repost it 24 hours. That's all it is. I could get, I get it. If you don't want to post it on your feed, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But I mean, it takes like what? five seconds if that to repost it on your story and it's going to be gone in 24 hours and somebody that you know a customer that's paid all the kinds of money and i could be salty about it but me personally if i had my own company i'm going to try to get as much as out there and i'm not going to lie um i'll give him a shout out too shout out to oliver nye you know because when when i first started following him when i had stuff or whatever and i tagged him and, you know, like I said, of course, people are going to review it. Make sure you review it if it's not nothing negative or anything like that. But he would repost everything. I mean, that dude reposts everything. Whether it's him or somebody he has working for him, he reposts everything people tag. You know, so people do see that. Just, just you know, just to let you know, people do see that. We do see that. So, But if you guys want me to do reviews on this stuff, I have not even used this rod. If you guys want me to do reviews and stuff like that, um, I'll do them. I don't care. If you guys want to do, want it done, um, I'll do them. I just, like I said, I haven't been doing it just because of that. And it could be just me being salty or something like that, you know. And it is what it is. But, you know, these guys ain't giving me no money, you know. I'm definitely giving them money, but they ain't giving me no money. So, you know, I looked at it like, I looked at it kind of like that, you know. And maybe because I don't have that many followers or subscribers, you know, I don't have, I, sh I should have had, uh, you know, it, I, I don't have as many as a lot of other people, so they don't care. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what it is? But 
I would personally think that they would have like a person spe specifically watching social media since social media is basically where it's at. I mean, you got you get free promotion. That's free promotion on social media. So, I mean, um, yeah. So why wouldn't you have somebody consistently watching that, making sure, hey, let's check out everything, make sure we're reposting. But I don't know. I forgot that this, man, this had a lot more stuff to tape off then. I thought, well, after my rant, um, as you can see, I'm taping off all the plastic uh, pieces. And I'm going to be careful. I'm probably not even going to go over it. But so this says, um, I don't even know if you guys shake it, but so this says all you got to do is apply to entire cork surface with a bristle brush. Um, I'm using this little sponge. It worked. Brush out ex excess that will not soak in. Do not allow to sag, streak, or run. Apply one coat only. Second coat, it won't even go in. So basically what this is going to do, it's going the cork is going to absorb it, and it's going to make a sealant. So when you put your hands on it and stuff, the oils from your hands ain't going to go into the cork. So when you do go to clean it, all you got to do is use soap and water, and it cleans off really well from what I'm getting told. Clean brush immediately and running tap water. If brush stiffens, soak, whatever. So dry to the touch in 30 minutes. And then you use it after a day, 24 hours. So let's start, let's start doing this one. So take this off. Real, real liquidy. It's not really that, it's not really thick at all. So go in here. And then I'm just gonna apply. It is getting a little bit darker, which I don't mind it getting darker. That's not a real issue for me. Go down here, bottom. All right, guys, that's a quick little video. That's all, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, you see how quick that was? It's going to dry in 30 minutes. You see it got just a little bit darker. I don't know if it's going to be in focus, but it got a little bit darker. Um, yeah, so I think, I mean, like I said, I did the Dobbins, and it feels pretty cool. We'll see how it is. I'm going to do these other rods. I won't record that, put you guys through it. But so we'll have, so basically these were kind of like the same color and you can kind of see the difference on what the color change was. I don't know if it's going to be out of focus. I'm going to put my head down so it won't focus on me, but you can see right there. So hopefully it's in focus and you can see one's darker than the other. So that's basically the color it's going to change to. But anyways, that's a quick little video for you guys. So I think it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's only like eight bucks, I believe. Eight bucks, nine bucks for that. And preserve your the cork. And then on top of that, it's easier to clean. Everybody knows how hard it is to clean these things. So, you know, just let it dry off and then your oils won't seep in. It won't get so dirty. And if it does, you can just wipe it off real quick and you're good to go. So, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I know uh, you guys are probably, you guys already watched this. And then the video before was us fishing the future pro tour me and lloyd and we had a horrible day so we're gonna have to redeem ourselves we're gonna be fishing the bbt first uh, we are gonna do the fpt but the next one at barry yes uh me and basket are gonna fish but we're gonna fish the bbt march 17th march 19th me and lloyd at uh new maloney's so stay tuned for that video also um, hopefully we have a better show out because the the start of the Future Pro Tour was really, really bad. Um, Luke and his partner won that one and his teammate won that one uh, with 17 pounds. I believe he got him off glide baits, but Luke, he's, uh, he's pretty good. That guy, is, he can fish. Anyways, guys, that's it. U, uh, U40 cork seal. That's what it is. I don't know if you can see it right there. But U40 cork seal, 
and um, yeah, works out. So other than that, guys, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Coach Miguel, and I'm out. Peace.